everyone. Hello. Welcome back to Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. Hey, where are we today? We are back at Colorado Mills Mall. We sure are. The Rods and Bods. Museum, movie cars, and more. Woohoo. Woohoo. I'm kind of and excited about me this. Me too. We are in Lakewood. And uh, hey, where are we specifically? Right at this for a moment. We're in the mystery machine. We are in the mystery machine. Let's see if we do it this. <laughs> Bam! Yeah, um, there's a replica of the mystery machine that you can actually get in. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, it's got shag carpet on the ceiling. Got the shag carpet. I remember this. Yeah. Boy, that brings back memories. I think this was the carpet in my bedroom. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, not very big, but uh, it's. And I think this is the only vehicle you can actually get in. But yeah. uh, right here at the beginning. So uh, they got lots of different stuff. Uh, I don't believe it's actually cars that are from movies i think it's more of replicas and that kind of thing yeah and then they do also if there are uh, hollywood or somebody's coming to colorado or maybe across the nation that needs cars for movies like just to have cars like in the background thing i think they rent them out yeah well. so uh let's go check it out let's go all see the car there looks like there's some cool stuff just walk out already at the entrance so i'm yeah. excited let's go let's go This custom motorcycle was built for the 2011 most Priest. movie Priest, so this oh. is the actual bike. Oh, well there you go. Alright, so it's from the 2011 movie called Priest with Paul Bettany, or you may know him as Vision. Oh yeah, and there's Oh yeah, Vision. Person. Yeah, that's Paul Bettany. Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. Alright, well there are some stuff that's from actual movies in here. The Wienermobile. And the Wienermobile. Version. It's a replica from what would be in Twisted Metal. That's pretty cool. And then you got a replica of the Nova. Kurt Russell drove in Death Proof, Tarantino's Death Proof. Pretty cool. Cool car. To use. This is cool. My favorite. He's my favorite Transformer. Bumblebee? Yep. So it's got the Bumblebee and uh, Disco Ball there. Cool. Oh, it's got a replica of. It kind of looks like the car we're driving today, but yellow. <laughs> yellow and a uh, little, little older than ours. Yep. <laughs> okay, Jurassic Park Jeep. <laughs> With the Barbasol. And the Pizza Planet. Oh my goodness. That's super cool. That's fun. And on the back, we'll put a picture. You can see where it says yo. Oh, it does? Yeah. So we'll get a picture of that. Alright. You guys recognize this one? And there's Kit from Knight Rider. And it's even got the little sensor in the front. Pretty cool. Pretty nice replica. Lots of hot rods. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Is that the one in the movie? It's just like the one in the movie. <laughs> Silly. Wow. That's crazy. Look at the the top is all paint. Oh, that's cool. Look at the inside. Yeah, this isn't any movie or anything. Just wow, crazy. The old Corvette, probably a '53. Oh, look at me, I was right. That looks like James Dean's, maybe. Yep. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, Rachel. Oh, uh, Rachel. So that's like baby from Supernatural. 67, 66, 67 Chevy Impala. If you know, if you want Supernatural, or did, that's a nice replica of that car too. That's the car Rachel wanted. Yeah, it is. Now she goes to college, so she can't get one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about the next car too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 57 Plymouth. That would be our friend Christine. Hey. It's me. There we go. I have a big affinity, Christine. My first Stephen King book I ever read. My first name I ever had. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh uh, yeah. Nice. Look at <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Pretty. Alright, let's play a cool little. Beastie Boys. Oh, that's cool. I've seen that. This surf wagon was in the Beastie Boys music video. Wow. Then we got a replica of Sarge from Cars. How cute! Very cool. Again, we're here located in Colorado Mills Mall. You'd never know this is here, over in Lakewood off of uh, C470. Not C470, 6th Avenue. No, look what I see back in the corner over there. Yeah. Laser. There. This is an Auburn. Wow, look at this beautiful car. 1935. Look at Herbie. Looks like Herbie. Except Herbie had a sunroof. But it's pretty close. That's fun. Oh, so, okay. So this car, it's one of the little French car. This is one of one screen used cars driven by Demi Moore and Woody Harrelson in Indecent expo uh, Proposal. That's funny. Oh. Neat. Yeah. There's the sign of a Kirby. Holding the greatest title of America's first sports car, this car retailed for $250 in 1949. It's a Crosley, 1949 Crosley Hot Shot. Fun. That's cute. All right, so this could be a little bit, a little bit controversial. Yeah. Does this actually fit into That's the Ghostbusters? Boat. Yeah, and do you know why? So this is from the 2016 Ghostbusters film. It's now called Answer the Call. Uh, they used a hearse instead of an ambulance. And, uh, you know, do I consider a cannon? Sure don't. But there it is. I'd rather them have the ambulance. But uh, it's a replica. Uh, we'll check, but I don't believe this was screen used. This is just a replica. Oh, it's got the little, got the little ghost on the front. That's funny. Oh, no. This was in the movie. That was the one in the movie? One of four. Oh, sure was. It's a 1984 Cadillac Fleetwood Hearse. I like, I do like the, the little the ghost, ghost on the front. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so yeah, screen used. There you go. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can decide if, if it's part of canon or not for you. It is not for me. But there you go, just because I didn't like the movie. All right, let's keep going. This car was featured in the Austin Powers movie Gold Member, doubled in both silver and gold. 2002 Corbin Sparrow. <laughs> there you go. That's funny. All right, Marty McFly's pickup. Yep. It's pretty cool. Jennifer can take it up to the lake. Yeah. Put a couple of sleeping bags in the back. <laughs> 
Fun facts, when Marty McFly returned from 1955, Marty had the truck in the garage, and when his plans shifted, he thought he'd lost the truck, but came to find out Doc Brown had placed it back. And when he came back to 1985, he found Biff Tanner, Tannen, putting a fresh coat of wax on it for him. Just finishing the first coat, Just or finishing. first finishing the second coat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And back there, we actually is got the DeLorean. The DeLorean. And there's a hoverboard in front, and it's signed by Christopher Lloyd, mm -hmm. Doc Brown. Oh, and there's an almanac on it too. Now this, it's gutted. There's no uh, nothing inside. Nothing inside. No back seat. No flux capacitor. I see or anything something like there that. on the dash. Oh, look at that. This is well. It looks like the outfit or a replica yeah. of the outfit from the second movie. Another hoverboard. A little tiny land speeder. This is car one. The car 1196, so oh. the first 2000 <laughs> ever manufactured. Oh, there's only 2000 DeLoreans. I guess. Bandit. Bandit, 1976. One of my favorite shows when I was young. Yeah, Smokey and the Bandit? Yep. Bird Rider. It's got the... Here's our fun corner. Cute little car. What's this Wait, one from? Nothing. It looks like a Monte Carlo almost, but it's not. It's heavy. Well, so right. back there is Hopper's Blazer, mm -hmm. which growing up, we grew up with that same Blazer. I used to call it the peanut butter truck because it was the color of peanut butter. <laughs> or I think my brother called it that. Yeah. One of us kids called it the peanut butter truck. It's got an Indiana. Played on it. And there's a demagogue back there. Ooh, don't go back there. Nope. That's cool. The cars from, looks like Greece. That's what the sun. Oh, maybe that's what the car's supposed to I mean, it's not. It's yeah. not from the movie. It's just a replica. Seven Chevy. All right, I'm going to hand the camera to you because I know you're going to want to talk about the. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. All right, we have a. 19, what, first we have a 1942 Harley there. It says this is the first civilian Harley Davidson produced in 1942. Interesting. There you go. All right, so after this, now these are definitely replicas. These are not anything that are in the TV shows, but we got some Batman relates and, and a nice display here too. You got TV show, movie characters, but we got your, they call it the Batty Caddy. So it's like the old 1966 Batmobile, but it's made out of a Cadillac. Weird. Yep. Funny. And then they got the side cycle. You got the bat cycle with the Robin thing on the side. That's funny. The bat bike. It's the bat bike from the Batman TV show. Seating for two, including Batman and Robin. You can see Robin has like a little car there. That's weird. Adam West and Burt Ward never drove the motorcycle. It was always their stunt double. I could see that. Funny. And you got the characters there. Fun. And then you get Here into... Actual, like, Michelle Pfeiffer, Jack Nicholson. Michael. Michael. Jim. Jim Tommy. Uh -huh. Arnold. Uma. And Danny. Then there are characters. And then replica of the... Burton Keaton Batmobile, which is pretty cool, and it's got the guns out from Batman Returns. That one's cool. Alex, do you want us to bring this back for you? <laughs> <laughs> we'll tow it back for you, Alex. In the bat loop. That's pretty cool. I like the. Uh, now it's got the Nolan logo on there. There's there's some Batman nerd for you. It's got the <laughs> Nolan logo there on the wheels. But, uh, still really cool. Nice. All right, so we continue along with, from Chinatown, we have a 1936 Ford, I'm gonna say Phaeton, and this was actually in the movie, and then before he crashed into a tree in the movie, spoilers, 
Um, and then they repaired it. If you so, haven't seen it yet, you're behind. You're behind. <laughs> and then we got a. Uh, this was one of two original cars from the movie. Nope. No, oh, from the exhibition. exhibition. So there was an exhibition, an exhibit in New York. An exhibition? Yeah, an exhibition. Uh, 1964 Angelia, which is the Weasley car. And it was part of a, of a show. It says, motor info is not needed. All you need is a wand and magic phrase. Don't forget to put Hedwig inside the car before takeoff. And he's up there on the Oh, well, that's pretty cool. This was uh, used in 2011. Again, not in, not in the movie. It's the Weasley's car. Weasley's car. All right. 1970 Plymouth Grand Sport Barracuda. That's that's not a muscle car at all. <laughs> that's gorgeous. So is that Fast and Furious Racer's Edge truck? Yep. Sure. So. It says, well, filming Brian O'Connor, Paul Walker, curb checked the right front tire in error and it was never cut from the movie. Huh, all right. I'm assuming that means that it's in this, from the movie. I think these are all supposed to be, if they're not from Fast and the Furious, they're inspired by Fast and the Furious. I never really got into those movies. I can see why people like them, but. I've never seen a dang fool one of them. I've seen like the first couple. There's like a hundred of them now. Yeah, I think there's, they just came out with 999 of them, so. <laughs> yep, Fast and the Furious. He represents the hero car. So this is, I don't think this one was in the movie. There's a total of six eclipses used in the movie. Oh, no. This one says it represents the first hero. Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I'm, I'm gonna say replicas, but maybe I'm wrong. If you've been here and you know more, put in the comments. The Toretto Dodge Charger, yeah, it's pretty great. This one, Oh, okay, now this one is screen used. Not only Fast and the Furious 4, but also the beginning of the 5th. Interesting. Alright, so this one is screen used for sure. It's pretty cool, I like the matte black. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, then we got a replica of the family, family truckster. From vacation. Now they've got uh, like it's Christmas. It's not. They didn't have this in the Christmas vacation. They had it in the original vacation. Oh, look! You got even. Got the motor place, but you got the dog collar on the back, wrapped around the bumper as well, for the dog. Got your Wally World stuff. That's cute. Yep. Not bad. They even got the logo of the... It's actually a 1983 Ford wagon as the uh, Queen family truckster. And you can see the logos on there with the, it looks like the Queen. Pretty funny. Uh, yeah, you got Ed, Edna on the top there. It's funny. <laughs> She's that's tiny. A, she is, that's a small... Yeah, Edna. Let's see if it's... That's pretty funny. Wagon Queen Family Truckster. Looks like I love Wally World. Yeah. Alright. And then we got a 1973 Chevy El Camino, which is a ba big Batmobile. This vehicle was is used by Colorado Batman for charity work throughout Colorado. And it's inspired by the cars. Bam. That's fun. Imagine driving that down the street. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Okay, that was our trip out here to Colorado Mills for the Rods and Bonds Museum. And what did you think? I thought it was really cool. It's a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. Me too, that's me gonna, too. That's kind of worried. Yeah. Being uh, in a mall and all, I thought how much can they really put in here. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Kind of like the aquarium in the mall when we went. Remember that? We're like, yeah, how much can we do? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
quite a bit. Uh, pretty cool. But a lot of cars, a lot of them that are actually screen used, a lot of them that aren't, that are replicas. Um, but a wide variety, and then just some sports cars, some some fun old cars. Uh, really neat. Um, yeah. Good good variety. Uh, which is your favorite? Right? I think this one behind us is mm. probably one of my favorites. Right there. Jeep Planet Mobile. <laughs> Pretty great. Yeah, and it even has on the back, we'll show a picture, but it's got Woody hanging off the back and Buzz in the back. It's yep. pretty cute. It's pretty darn cute. Yeah. I have to agree. I have to agree. I don't know. I like, you? I don't know. Um, there's so many. There's so many. The Christine did, car was really cool. Christine was super cool. I did like it, and I like Baby from Supernatural, so. Yeah. Um, they're all really cool. I think those two's. I don't know, but then I like the truck from uh, Back to the Future. That was cool. That was cool, too. Something a little different. Yeah. I agree. There's just a lot. Yeah. So worth coming out and checking out. It is $12 a person. Not too bad. Not too bad. If you have parties of five or more, it's $10 a person. So, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I really liked it. It was fun. Um, you, could just, you can spend as much time as you want. Uh, you can photograph all you want. You can video all you want. You can, take a, you can get in the mystery machine. That thing. That was pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it was fun. I really enjoyed this. Me too. So, Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> Happy birthday. You went and saw fake cars. <laughs> hey, it was fun. It was fun. We had a good time. So, all right, so that is it for here at Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures in Lakewood. If you have not yet. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Please do. And hit that notification bell. Yep. All right, so that is it. Thanks for joining us for Christmas Cuts Color Adventures. We'll see you next time. Bye.